Tropical Storm Harvey triggering devastating floods to Texas as rising water levels force thousands of residents from their homes. And it's also taking a major toll on the oil and gas industry with refineries shutting down. We look at the price of oil and gas right now, but gasoline prices have been rising since late last week. Joining us is S&P Global Platts uh, Energy Managing Partner, Director of Global Oil, Rick Joswick. Rick, good to see you. And you also have a background in refining before you came to SNP. So what in terms of refining capacity is out right now in that region and what does it mean for prices and supplies of refined product across the country? Well, well there's really three areas of concern. The, the, the first one is that uh, crude production, there's some outages there. That's, that's really not the issue at the moment. You know, the Eagle Ford production, some of the offshore production. Uh, it's the refining, as you alluded to, that's really the issue right now. Maybe 11% of the refining capacity is off. Um, in in the, the Houston area, you have Baytown, Deer Park, a few others. Corpus Christi is still down. We don't really know the extent of the damage in Corpus Christi, but the, the, the rainfall has stopped there at least. So, uh, you know, at least they'll give them a chance to recover. The, the next area to worry about is whether flooding happens in Louisiana and you know in, in East Texas, you know, Port Arthur and that area. There's there's a lot of capacity there that was hit hard by Katrina. And then the third area is going to be distribution. You know, we haven't even thought about that yet. Right. But that's what happened with Sandy. We couldn't the refineries were running, but we couldn't get the, the gasoline to the customer because the trucks couldn't get through, the pumps weren't running at the gas stations. You know, no one's even talking about that yet. But that's gonna be a, a big issue. If a pump if a pump is flooded out, you know, how can they restart it easily? Mitch, do you have a question? Yeah, so when I think about the year we've had in oil, we've seen prices come down quite considerably and there was talk of excess supply. What's this going to do sort of near term and long term to prices at the pump? Well, at the pump, there's really two kinds of prices. There's the price of crude oil and the mm -hmm. price of gasoline. Let's talk the price of gasoline. Uh, in the, the, the prior storms, Katrina, Rita, Sandy, uh, Gustav, you know, all, all of those storms, Prices for gasoline spiked up by 20 cents, 50 cents, 80 cents even in some of the worst ones. Um, Sandy was more like 10 to 20 cents, and right now that's probably what we're, we're likely to see here. I think gasoline is up maybe 7 cents a gallon right now, something like that. Crude oil prices are another story. Um, you know, refiners are the ones who buy the crude oil. So if refiners are shut down, they're not buying the crude oil. And so I would expect to see a little weakness in the, the, the name brand uh, crude uh, WTI. That's actually what you're seeing play out, play out this morning is okay. that you have a, a drop in oil prices yeah. down about 1%, 47.33 yeah. a barrel, but then a major spike in gasoline prices. R yeah. Rick, one of the interesting aspects, though, of the oil market that we've seen this year is that we're exporting about a million barrels per day. How does this impact our exports now? Well, I, I would expect there will be some force majeure. We know that we're, we will not be able to export a cargo that we were expecting. Uh, and so what does that do for the, the, the world? It means that at the moment, the world gets a little shorter. And so people will be scrambling. And uh, I would expect to see the price of international crude, Brent, in Dubai, to move up a little bit. Um, that, those are short-term effects. Uh, re you know. Really quickly before we, we have to let you go, Rick, what about the, the stability and the structure of these refineries in and around the Houston area? Are they in better shape to withstand this kind of flooding since maybe Rita hit the city about 10 years I ago? I think so, because you know, when they were really hurt, a lot of uh, refineries, after they, they rebuilt, they put their pumps up 10 feet in the air, you know, and the electronics. It's the flooding of the electronics that really damages these things. I mean, they're made out of steel. They're not going to get knocked over or anything like that. It's that you have to have the computers working and the pumps and the mm -hmm. compressors. I, I've heard that you know, many refiners have done that, but not all. So we, we shall see how that plays out. I should say 12 years ago is when Hurricane Rita hit, yeah, was, hit the region. Yeah. Um, Rick, it was great to see you. Rick Joswick, take care. Please come back. We'll be interested to hear from you as we move on into this week and in the weeks and months to come, really. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you very much, Daniel.